Welcome to Tech Results Zamiro. In this video, we are going to talk about Azure Resource Graph Explorer. So, how did I end up on this service? So, what I was trying to do, I was trying to get the list of all the VMs in my uh, tenant and then uh, in my multiple subscription. And I wanted a way to find it. Then also, I was trying to look for the list of the disks which are not attached to the VMs or private endpoints. And I wanted to take a look like how I can find that all information information in one maybe write a query and just filter for one subscription you know or for resource group uh, and all those kind of good things uh, I can do that um, so I end up uh, in this uh, Azure or resource uh, group explorer service and uh, that's give me the option to write my queries um, and you can see the definition here from uh, Azure resource graph is Azure service uh, designed to extend Azure resource management by providing efficient and performant re uh, resource exploration with the ability to query at scale across a given set of subscriptions so that you can effectively govern your environment. These queries provide the following abilities. So you can do the filtering, grouping and all sorting and all that. You can also, you know, do uh, I'm just like a, this is just normally what I'm trying to tell you here you can read all that but what it is going to give you it's going to give you a way to write your query and explore your all the resources in your subscription and tenant now also this part a query changes made to the resource properties so if uh, anything has changed uh, during that day or two or two, all that you can also uh, take a look into that well as well let's say I have changed my um, um, IP from static to the dynamic or from dynamic to the is static in one of the NIC so that's uh, you know that you can take a look here as well okay now let's go ahead and enough talk you can read all that on this link and I'm going to show you how exactly it work so here I am on the Azure portal and I'm on the home page and here I have to go to the let's say resource groups once I go to resource groups here I will see resources group I can click on any of them and then it's going to open a list of those resources available for the resource group instead of just navigating through each of them because uh, I want to navigate uh, or find out uh, the resources uh, in all the resources groups actually in the entire subscription uh, I can simply go here open query and uh, this is where uh, I will be interacting with the Azure Resource Graph Explorer I can uh, uh, create a new query here and uh, there are already queries written for me so here example queries uh, count Azure resources so I can uh, open uh, let's uh, what we can do we can just uh, I don't I select all and delete it so now if I want to say I want to count of my resources in my subscriptions uh, in this uh, entire default directory you can go further here you can go to management group and subscription in my case I'm going to just leave the scope to the directory so everything now here if I will click open uh, query is the same resources and then summarize counter so that's the query It's called cost to query I have a com created a complete uh, tutorial on to queries I will put the link here you can learn how to write cost to queries as well now we can go ahead and execute our query by clicking run query and you can see there there are 23 uh, counts uh, of resources in my entire directory here if I will go see detail that's all it is going to show me so all the columns what you see here if you click here that the detail you will see now here you have all those different uh, type of tables available uh, see right here we have resources that's what we are using here now if you notice here the as uh, in the example they use the R capital that's why it's given us uh, this uh, underline or uh, red line uh. now I can open a new query and if I'm expert in writing Custo I can simply type resources so that's my table so see right there this is a table and I will, if I would like to see only 10 uh, items you know from this uh, table what I can say limit 10 uh, and uh, there is a pipe sign you have to use it here with the custo you can say uh, run query and it's gonna give you name of that uh, resource type of that resource tenant ID kind location uh, resource group subscription managed by SQU and plan properties so there are a lot of information uh, available in this uh, properties as well um, so you can see right there uh, you know tons of information for each of that uh, resource uh, available uh. 
so this was our sql and uh, you can see it was giving us all the information about our sql which uh, uh, what is the capacity what is the tier it is using what uh, correlation and everything else so you can extract that information and show us right here if you want um, i will uh, uh, show you how to use these properties uh, in later on in the other uh, videos uh. now this is all the information you have it here let's say if i want to click right there it's going to open that entire row for me so you see right there that's a subscription that's a name and uh, then uh, you have all the information in which uh, uh, resource group it is created so it's subscription and then uh, you have more detail um, any data that suggests on data what we were seeing here that will be showed here so you can see right there okay so the properties remember that there was a lot more information such as uh, which is what is the capacity what is the tier for sql and all that uh, you know so you can see all that information right here uh, correlation and everything uh, now that's a great uh, to see and uh, take a look on single uh, row of information in that uh, kind of tabular form now that's uh, cool let's go back uh, and uh, say uh, uh, go to the get started again and uh, here i'm going to show you some more queries uh. so now if we go here these queries uh, are uh, get uh, key vault resources get list resources sort by name so you can have that as well uh. so every time you write here resources project means uh, give me only name and type and location uh, and order by name uh. so if i will execute this query it's going to give me only those uh, three columns uh. see right there that's all it is um. let's go back uh, to the get started here and now we are going to go further virtual machines if you want to get all the virtual machines you will get that uh. Then I show first uh, five virtual machines by name uh, so you can uh, see the operating systems and all what they are using. Uh, so you can go further here and uh, see right there we are only looking for the type where it is virtual machines and then uh, OS type. Uh, so it's going to give us uh, the OS types. Uh, so in my case, I don't have a uh, multiple. Uh, uh, VMs with different operating system. I have uh, two VMs with the only Windows up. So you can see right there the properties are shown. Uh, remember, I was just telling you like you can use properties that storage profile and all that. So once uh, you use the properties, uh, then uh, you can take a look like what property you need to use here. So there are tons of properties here that you can use. Uh, I will say explore it and uh, then you will learn, uh, you know, how to use them. Uh, now let's go to get started here and then uh, further you have uh, all different. Uh, uh, activities uh, because each table they have uh, put some uh, queries together so let's go back here and uh, take a look here so let me show you here this is a definition I got from here and uh, then uh, if I will take you here these are the tables uh, so remember the very first table we are playing with is called the resources uh, and if you want to take a look on the health resources uh, you can take a look include the resources related to Microsoft resource health uh, validation uh, availability status uh, so you can take a look on that one we can simply go ahead and copy this and uh, from here we can write the query it's a new query and I just uh, simply have to paste it here this uh, in this case uh, I'm not uh, doing anything and uh, what's happening I just uh, once you put the table name and just execute it is gonna give you all the uh, columns and all the information so you see right there that's our VMs and we are checking the health you know and uh, this uh, query you can use uh, to see their uh, further information now there are other uh, 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 tables available as well so you can go back and uh, take a look on all those what you need here okay so security resources you know identify uh, resources related to Microsoft security and uh, you have uh, you know other service uh, health resources and all that but not so you um, there are some policies you know so you want to take a look on those one as well okay so you know uh, where to find these tables and I will put the link in the description as well or you can end up here as your resource graph and then go to the concepts and here uh, you have all that information right there and uh, then uh, you have tutorials uh, you know uh, creating your first uh, share queries and uh, you can save these queries as well and uh, then use it when you need to use it uh, so see right here if I want to say save you know save and uh, then uh, uh, I can simply save it here so I will say health check health query or whatever and uh, then uh, if I want to give a description fine I want to keep it private or share uh, with different people that's fine so I can go and share and then tell like with uh, resource group you know I have to tell uh, uh, East US is fine that region and then uh, further go there and tag if I want to put the tags and all that 
now that's uh, one of the thing you see right there now I if I go and uh, put this one there so I'm gonna close this and for this one say resource count right so I can save we can share and uh, then that's it now it is saved and uh, we can go back to our resource group here I close everything and now if I go back to the other resource group even and here if I will say open query and uh, then uh, let's see what happened uh. so if you say open query it's uh, showing you private queries or shared queries um. so I'm gonna say shared queries and then uh, I can uh, all subscription and uh, then uh, you can take a look uh, all those resources here and then uh, you have these queries right there so I can open uh, simply this query and then execute them um. so this uh, really helps uh, your company maybe they want to monitor some uh, um, resources every day and all that you save those query anybody log then uh, they can run these queries and uh, then uh, they can convert uh, the results into the charts you know you have a map you have a um, bar chart and uh, then you have also donut uh, so you have all those information there and uh, you know you can show that information in charts as well uh, so that's cool um, and what else we have so I will say just keep exploring with this one because this is going to give you a lot of information and this is going to help you to generate all different reports uh, quickly for you once you get expert uh, and uh, you never have to worry like hey I need to find out all the VMs uh, uh, which um, uh, power is off or which are on or which are uh, deallocated or which are uh, running so you can simply go ahead and run the query and find the information right there so instead of uh, you know struggling through each of the resource group and uh, going uh, in each of them and taking a look separate or downloading a CSV files and everything uh, so this is gonna be help you tons uh, uh, of time uh, you know where uh, you need uh, to run these reports or find the information in your uh, Azure uh, subscription or the entire tenants with multiple subscriptions uh, so thank you very much for watching my videos I hope uh, this video will help you to start uh, and uh, uh, give you some answers quickly and you save some time for uh, you know having a nice uh, lunch or <laughs> dinner instead of wasting too much time on uh, you know drilling into each of the resource and finding the information thank you and I will see you guys in the next video